Hello and welcome to another episode of Taylor Talks Comics. My name is Taylor and this is my special guest today. Right. Because we have a special segment for you. This one is called Hey Kids Comics. This is where we're going to talk about comics that kids can enjoy uh, because Riley is an eight-year-old kid himself. He loves reading comics. So if you're a parent watching or um, you have some kids in your life maybe or you're a kid yourself, maybe we can introduce you some, to some new books that you've not read before or that you were thinking about reading and you wanted to get a closer look at. So Riley, what are we talking about today? Press Start by Thomas Flintham. Now these are two of my favorites out of 13. Um, 13 volumes. Yes. Um, I loved how he wrote it. It's one of the best series I've ever had. And we're going to look down deep into this pretty soon. Yes, so let's flip the camera around and do a deeper dive into all 13 volumes yes. of Press Start by Thomas Flintham. Alright, so yes, um, as you saw in the intro, I have Riley here to go over a book, um, Comics for Kids, and this is going to be a new series that I'm starting called Hey Kids Comics, I think I'm going to call it, um, to show off some books on my channel for kids. And <clears throat> I will put a caveat though, that some of my other videos and content is not always geared for kids, so make sure if you're only trying to find kids comics, if you're a parent or a child, um, only look for the ones that are titled Hey Kids Comics. Um, the other ones, I can't promise, will be appropriate for kids um, some of the other books I show off. But we have here, um, Riley's one of his favorite comic books of all time, and it's called Press Start by Thomas Flintham. Flintham. Um, Riley, what is this series about? As I, I'm going to show off these books as you talk. It's about Sonny Zaki, a boy who loves just playing video games, and you just try to read through them. They're quick reads. They're really fun. And um, he really just... In the first one, he gets so struggled with the game, and if you kind of relate to that, I think you would really like the. Or if you relate, if you play video games and you have that yeah. same 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 experience. And like I do, um, in the new like cartooning, um, game, um, Zelda: Link's Awakening. I ha oh. I'm really struggling with that and i'm barely into the game even though i've gone like through a lot of it and i've always tried to <laughs> look it up but then after i look it up i get bored and then i try to play another game so it's really hard for me but that's what he kind of does he tries to figure out what to do and you can see the emotion on his face here he's struggling yeah. so he only has one life left in this game so who's super rabbit boy though super rabbit boy um is a character that i can show you there's a flashback in the first one just to show you him so it, he was a baby he fell down into a special bonus maze. He eats this weird looking carrot and gets super speed. He can jump really high and he was called Baby Rabbit Boy at that time. And I think he had a diaper on at first. Well, not in this one, but then this one. Give me another flashback he does. Oh, there it is on the cover. Yeah, this is when uh, King Viking tried which is the bad guy of Super Rabbit Boy, tries to ruin um, Super Rabbit Boy's life by going back in time and trying to make the him, or Baby Rabbit Boy, um, in the past not get the carrot. And if he doesn't get the carrot, then right now, at his time, he wouldn't have the powers to jump and run really fast. And then King Viking could do whatever he wanted from there. Yeah. So let's talk about that real fast. Um, where's the... Oh, I'm trying to find it. There he is. So <clears throat> King Viking is the main bad guy. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of references in 
um, homages to different video games you'd find in these series. It's so like Super Rabbit Boy, you'd say it's like the Mario character. Yeah. And the King Viking would be kind of like the Bowser, if you yeah. will. Um, but there's also a bunch of other characters that you'll find similar to video other video games, like Simon the Hedgehog yeah. instead of Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. And one thing, cool thing for me is like a older video game fan is all the references to video games in here. Like like even the flashback that Rather's just showing looks like an old Game Boy game where it's like that one. And this is all played on a Game Boy. It is not a real game. So if you really oh, yeah. like this series and if you want to play and if you think it's on the Game Boy, just please. <laughs> Don't go to the store to try no, to find it. Yeah, because it's not a so it's like real the, game. It's just a pretend fun Game Boy game that he made up. Yeah, it's like, it's not the black and white. What was it? Green green and green? Yeah, green, of like, oh, white, green, and green. Black different and shades of green that you'd find on the like old Game Boy games back in the day. Yeah. Um, but even like, uh, I'm trying to find some more volumes here that have other references. Oh, like Super Rabbit All-Stars, um, which I know you'll, you want to talk about that a little yeah, bit more. this one's my favorite. I used to like the second one, which is this one right yeah. here. But after I got, after, sorry, um, got the eighth one, I loved it, and that was my favorite so far. And The title page for each of them shows off the cover of the, it's, they're fake video games, but the one yeah. that they're going to be playing within the story. Yeah. So you even see, like, Funston 64 as a reference to, like, Nintendo 64. But also, if you look here, you see a bit of the characters that come in. They're going to be in that story. So, like, that's King Viking, and he's usually on them. But there's also, like, this is, a uh, that kind of relates to Wispy Woods, if you know Kirby, Wispy oh, Woods. Oh, yeah, that's right. But this is, like, a good character, and his, her, his or her name is Wisdom Tree right here. That's Wisdom Tree. She's the oldest tree in, um, what is it called? Hold on. Viking land? What is it? There is a name for their land that they go to. Uh, that's Super Rabbit Boy World. But oh, okay. That one's all over the world, and he has trouble. But this one is Super Rabbit All Star, so it's kind of like Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Um, and then the sixth one, if we can find it right here, this one's kind of like the game I was just oh. talking about. Um, Zelda's Link Link's yeah, Awakening. Yeah, where. He has to go through a big, huge side quest just to defeat this um, King Viking's big robot. I think this one is my favorite because I read through all these with Riley too. Yeah. And this is my favorite. Well, most of them. I haven't read all of them? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I think that was the last one um, you read. And the story's always open with Sonny and Rue, his brother and sister kind of like going back and forth. Uh, he's playing video games and struggling or she was kind of like teasing him or what have you. And then you dive right into the story. And the majority of the story takes place within the video game. It's mostly Super Rabbit Boy. But Sunny and Rude is maybe pop again here and there. Um, but and they usually pause the game just to talk and yeah. with the real world. But to but, me, in this, the real world is the video game world. Oh. Just because it's most, it's the most of this series. So this one is my favorite because... You have King Viking, the bad guy, and this giant robot, which is just awesome. I mean, it's like Power Rangers. He's in a giant robot controlling it. Um, and he's trying to cause trouble taking over Animal Town again. So Super Rabbit Boy has to stop him. But in order to stop him, he has to go on these side quests. So he has to go find this person to grab this one resource. And then he has to go to find... That takes him to another place. And then he has to go to another place to grab this other thing. So he has to go through all these steps of finding each of these little pieces in order to even get to the point to where yeah. he can defeat so King Viking. What really happens is it starts off with this big fight that um, King Viking defeats him, which usually Super Rabbit Boy defeats King Viking. And then when um, he, or when uh, Super Rabbit Boy um, defeats king viking he usually pops all the way like this where he throws him away instead and he usually calls them silly names like smelly rabbit boy instead of super rabbit boy but he has to go through this long quest to and then he gets almost there but then he finds so he they go on a store thing it doesn't really matter but um he defeats all the robots then he comes here 
when he needs three coin, three gold coins to get this mega wand. And then when... So then he has to go do something else to get the three coins. Yeah. So he finds one there. He gets a map and stuff. But then um, after he gets that, he thinks he's ready for the fight, right? So um, when he gets it, he tests it, but nothing happens because it's batter. It's controlled by batteries. And batteries not included. <laughs> so then he has to go find batteries to, ma to power the magic wand. And then he asked if he has any batteries, and he said no because... Um, a cave explorer Kirk, which is more in the tenth one, right here, and this one's kind of ripped up, as you can see right here. I'm gonna glue it again, but um, this one, it's just he bought the last one so he could find the, and he goes to Billy Bob's everything shop, so he lost his key. Oh no! So he can't go there, but he gets free batteries if he finds the key. So he does find the key, and he's about to get it, but then, um, Ang Angie Crow, right? Angie Crow. Angie Crow, I don't know. Um, um, it's Angie Crow's in... The shiny thing. Yeah. And he, th and then if he finds something shinier, then he, then he'll give the key, so... So let's keep going on the side quest. I don't, so, I don't want to tell them the yeah. whole story, but um, it, it was funny to me because Riley was going through a similar situation on Link's Awakening where yeah. he's like, I have to go find this one thing, but then we were looking it up and he had to go on the side quest for this other thing and this other thing, and it just kept leading to the different situations. So I think Thomas yeah. Flintnam does a good job of um, replicating things that you'll encounter in video games within the story. And then, then here's another one that's kind of like uh, Super Mario. Um, yeah. Mario Kart. Yeah. And so, Mario? I don't know, Mario Kart. Um, so, the, a lot of references to video games is what I like as it as a parent. Um, as it's fun for me to read read those as well. Uh, but Riley, I know you said you this is your favorite one, um, yes. but you said you wouldn't would not recommend this to be the first one though. Yeah, you want to explain that Just a little bit? Because it's a lot different, and the one that I told I should tell you about that you should definitely not read as your first one is this just because um it is about king viking instead of super rabbit boy right here and um let me pause on that really quick if you see this it just i think this year or next year in december or november um it's a new series coming out and we've only seen the um couple shots of the artwork yeah and i think it's later this year i think it's november december of this year yeah but you're saying this is this kind of depicts king viking as like the hero yeah. of the story yeah because it's more about him so don't read this one first yeah and this is the latest one 13 yeah so maybe don't pick up that one the first the 14th one comes in december this year probably the same time the new cartoon comes yeah out. but you're explaining maybe. you're explaining this one though why, why is this one your favorite just because <laughs> It has, I love how Thomas did the concept of the thing where he shows all these kind of cool characters and then he, all these characters, which I bet he, this took a long time for him to draw. And it's really hard for me to draw like video game looking. This would be a good like picture, all these. If you want to, if you're just looking at something and thinking to draw something, to practice for, for something that um, is art, then just pick one of these and try to draw it. But um, it's all about a tournament, and if you don't get what he's talking about right here, then just look here and here. So it goes from here. To here. Just kind of like the bracket of the tournament. Yeah. Something similar that you'd see on Super Smash Brothers if you do like tournament mode. Yeah. And the story though itself is Sunny competing in a tournament against other video gamers, yeah. like eSport video gamers. But also within the story, you get to see Super Rabbit yeah. Boy go through the tournament himself. So like it shows you round one. So well, there's more than just one round. And uh, there's five... Um, 50 players playing at the same time in the first round. 50, which is a lot. 
but only 10 play in the first one. And this one, and Zachy's right here, if you can't tell. Um, and, the, like, these two are having trouble just because they're not good at climbing. Isn't there something, too, that when the other players see that he's bringing Super Rabbit Boy as his character, they're like, that's a weak character. Why would you pick him? No, that was Bl Billup. But oh, Bill up, okay. I like to say blip. I don't know why. It's just fun for me. <laughs> and this one is just like what I was ta talking about um, right here. They're having trouble. This is a trouble for him because if you get knocked out of the water, then you're out of the game and you don't get to play anymore. And you, it's trouble for him just because it's really hard to bounce off something but then he, yeah you see like the different clever ways that super red boys to overcome yeah. like some of the issues that he has um because his character is not made to win some of these games yeah necessarily like, his strong points of his character like this where he survives this round i'll tell you but he does it by the three people and then he says he'll bash both but then he jumps off both of them and then he flies out of oh and they bounce yeah. away from him so he just goes right through them so yeah he's trying to find out clever like problem solving ways to win the game which is i mean you imagine sunny sunny zaki himself the boy trying to figure out his own yeah. own ways so this is a really fun series that riley likes a lot um and I think he's told me that you can pretty much pick up any of these volumes. You don't have to start off with volume one, even though you recommend that. Yeah. Um, but if you just find like a volume three or something in the store, you can just pick it up and read it and see if you like it. Um, there are some volumes, like he's, I think he went over through this one. So, these two, I think he said for sure don't read these first, but the other ones are pretty much okay. Like this one, maybe not. Um, and I, there was one more. What was it? Uh, that that one okay oh yeah because this one oh, and one more this i mean there's a lot but this one's just about the opposite world where i can show you um if i find it there's the last page with the other page i showed all the different characters i like no it wasn't the last page oh there it was um oh the here. story of it where this is super rabbit boys world where a lot of stuff is good but this is the this robot's world which is a good robot usually a bad robot but this w world it's good and you so can everything's tell the opposite so, so like, like flowers are guys, good but flowers are bad in that world so in super rabbit boys world things that are bad are good in this world and flowers that are good in super rabbit boys world are bad in this world so everything's the opposite so you even have yeah. a, like a good version of king viking in here and a bad version of Super Rabbit Boy, who's Super Rabbit Boss. So, um, I recommend to not read that because you would get really confused yeah. if that was your first one. And then you said 11 is kind of a direct sequel to Volume 1 because it's the, they play the same game, but Sonny's friend has, like, cheat codes in it. Yeah. So it's, like, a different... And he's playing a harder mode of the game. So even though it's 1 and 11, they're kind of direct sequels to each other. So he... um, It makes it a lot easier in this for just to play but he entered one of the codes and it says super rabbit boy land which it was will say if you turn it to um super rabbit boy land but this one says super rabbit boy land hard mode so it's kind of a sequel like yeah. my dad said so <clears throat> what kind of kids do you think would enjoy these like, what age group? Uh, you said you started reading this when you were, like, five? Or? Yeah, but I was higher age. That yeah, so... Was, if, so maybe six, six or seven. Yeah. Eight might be a little too much, but... um, Or too old for it. I'm eight. um, But I still really enjoy them. If you're looking for an easy read, it's really just eight, nine, maybe ten if you like video games. Really, if you just like video games... Or old video games like my dad does, has played a lot more than just video the games stuff, I've played. Yeah. Um, this would be a really good one because there's like flashbacks. I can find the first one. Where do you put the first one? Oh, do we not talk about that on this? Um, no. <laughs> on this edit? Um, yes, yeah, so like the flashback scene of the beginning part is uh, 
It's, it looks like an old Game Boy game. Yeah. So there's like a lot of good references to old video games in here. Um, yeah, I'd say five, ages five to ten, maybe yeah. that window, depending on your reading level. And you know, if you're not up there, then maybe your parents can help you read it. Uh, but you can find these on Amazon or Barnes and Noble, any bookstore really. And then Riley also recommended uh, the library. Yeah. Going to like your any, librarian. Any local library, if even if they don't have it, just ask your librarian if you if they could order it for you and then you can just really enjoy yeah a lot of them and i found the my mom found them on amazon so if you want to go on amazon then just go on amazon and look for yeah and this is the the branches um imprint of scholastic which i guess right here it says reading level two appeals to first and second graders um I think it's on all of them. So that's another recommendation for age level two. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, go find my local library or Amazon, Barnes & Noble, that kind of thing. Yeah. So Maybe Half Price Books. Oh, yeah, or, Half Price Books, yeah. Um, I don't, I, I haven't seen them there, but um, maybe they're at your Half Price Books. Yeah, know. maybe. You never know. Um, but yeah, so this is a, just the first video of Riley doing uh, Hey Kids Comics. And um, Riley, what should they do if they like this video? They should like it. Give it a give thumbs it a up. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you look at Hey Kids Comics and not Taylor Talks Comics. <laughs> because you, my dad can't say that all of his books are appropriate for kids yes. like me when I'm eight. So, um. But still, look at Hey Kids Comics. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below with the, yeah. your recommendations of what comic books you want to see highlighted on Hey Kids Comics or well, what comic books maybe Riley would like. If you yeah. know that he likes this, maybe you have one that he hasn't read before. And maybe I can give you a shout out if I look at a book that you recommend. Yeah, if they recommend a book and you show it off, you give them a little shout out. It's an awesome idea as well. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is going to be a new series that we're doing and we're trying. So uh, thank you for su the support and uh, keep reading comics. Oh, parent. Um, can uh, that, that they recommend comic books that kids might enjoy because Riley is a kid himself and he loves reading comic books. So if you're a parent watching, you can introduce these comics to your, your kids. Pause. Uh, what? I'm sorry. I showed this camera. Why did you start it? I don't know. I'm just recording. Hi. <laughs> this is like bloopers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to put that at the end of the video. No, no. <laughs> Wait, your hair's all messed up now. Why do we keep starting it? Tell me when you're ready. No, do a countdown. Is it perfect? That's good. Oh my gosh, the diva here. What? This is a debut on camera. I just got to make sure it looks good. Ready? Yeah. Press start. Now these are, are two of 13. I forgot the author's name. By Thomas Alex, or if you're a kid yourself watching this with your parent, then you can, uh, the, the shot was messed up. 